Hi, today we're going to be doing a review on something I really, really love that I used to do with a palm nailer. It is the Boss Stitch Strap Shot Magnesium Gun. It is the MCN 150, being a inch and a half strap nail gun. So if you're using Simpson Strong Ties, any of those kind of hurricane straps, this is happening a lot more in construction where we're having to put up hangers and we're having to put up uh, hurricane straps in certain areas of the country. This is a gun that allows you to get rid of your palm nailer for that particular reason. That's what I did for years. I used the palm nailer. I really liked that. I wore out lots of palm nailers, setting a lot of anchors into you know, these little inch and a half nails. This is so much easier. Now again, this is a simple system to load. You're gonna go ahead and drop them in the back. Pull back, set to go. So now they do make a bigger version of this which shoots two and a half inch nails and the inch and a half, works just fine. I like the uh, inch and a half, so I think they do most of everything I'm gonna do. Now you'll notice that this is different than a lot of the other guns out there. Let me unplug for all of you that are safety conscious. The nail actually stips, sticks out of the tip of the gun. And what that allows us to do is if I've got a hole, and we'll imagine one of these nails is a hole, I put it right over the hole, I push and fire. And it goes directly into the hole. Versus some of the pass load guns and some of the other guns out there that run a little different system. Basically being that the system is that it doesn't have the, you're not putting the nail in, you're putting a tip. Some of the other boss stitch, bigger boss stitch guns you're putting a tip in there, you're pulling the trigger, and it moves the tip out of the way and fires the nail in the hole. I like this a lot better. I'm able to put it exactly where I want it, and then pull the trigger exactly where I want it. Now, one thing I've found is that it's a little better if you put a little pressure on the gun. It tends not to shoot as well unless you've got pressure on it. So put a little pressure on it, put it in there. Now, the heads of the nails are stamped for inspection reasons. So I've got the, you know, it turned down just a little bit. I don't have, I don't like this one turned all the way up. But uh, definitely a gun that works really well. Super easy, very little kickback, very light. You can hang it on your belt all day long and not notice it. It's about the weight of your standard impact driver, screwdriver. The gun itself is pretty symmetrical, meaning that it's gonna be both the uh, same right and left. So if you're a left-handed guy, right-handed guy works the same or using either hand. And the hook, which is plastic, I'm not exactly a big fan of plastics, yet I have a bunch of Glocks. So not a big fan of plastic, but this one does move out of the way and get out of your way. So you can put it on either side and it has kind of clicks so it stays in place. That's about the whole entire gun for you. I mean, the head is movable, so if you're getting blasted in the face, you can move it out of the way, which I kind of like. I'm always a big fan of being able to move the air ejection out of the top. But if you're hanging a lot of hangers, definitely something I'd recommend. You know, being able to just boom, you know, that's so much better than listening to that dang palm nailer go all day long. So, and again, you can't just pull the trigger. You actually have to push down, and that's what actually makes it work. So if you're worried about those nails sticking out, it won't fire unless you've pushed on the gun and pulled the trigger. So this is the MCN 150 Bosch Stitch Strip Shot. Uh, you can buy their nails or Hitachi's nails or Senko's nails. They all seem to work the same. 35 degree angle nail, inch and a half is what you're going to want to shoot out of this gun and it works awesome. So uh, like and subscribe on the bottom or a little area down at the bottom if you like our videos. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on the bottom or if you have any things that maybe I left out. These, uh, these are kind of always off the hook kind of reviews. You know, we don't, we're more real world. I've used these for a long time and I do love them. So have a great day.